Hi folks, this is Chris Slogar from BuckeyeInklings.com and I want to um, show you real quick the construction of these two projects that are made with six inch squares of designer series paper. So I did this tonight on Facebook Live, but I wanna have a clean copy so it's easy to get to just the directions for these two projects because otherwise we just showed a lot of cards and um, other things that you maybe wouldn't want to sort through to get to this. So like I said, both of these um, use a six inch square. We'll start with this little pinwheel box. Uh, it opens sort of like when you dog ear flaps of a box, like so, and you can put in it, um, I have these little corrugated um, um, elements here, um, a tea bag and chocolate, or maybe a little group of um, nuggets. You know, any little treat like that. These are just great little, cute little things for like favors. Um, it's kind of getting to be shower season and stuff like that. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, um, this is my website and my email address. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. We have the brand new 2018-2019 um, annual catalog available now for sales um, starting in June. So um, it's gorgeous, of course, a great idea book as well. Um, and the hostess code listed there is for one more week um, till the 22nd. If you place a $35 order with me, I'll send you a sample of this paper that we're using. Um, it is so gorgeous. Pearlized, it's um, the Share What You Love designer series paper. It's a specialty paper. It's a little thicker than our normal papers. I'll also send you two of the pearlized doilies that go with it. Um, but just really pretty. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, you need a six inch square of designer series paper. And we're going to um, use the envelope punch board. We're making the pinwheel box first. And we need to punch at two and a quarter and score and punch at three and a quarter and score and then turn our paper and again go to two and a quarter don't try to follow the score line like we normally do on envelope punch board projects but punch at two and a quarter and score and punch at three and a quarter and score turn it do that again on all four sides we're punching and scoring at two and a quarter and three and a quarter. And this is the last side. Okay, we can put this away. Now, I am going to um, well, I'll burnish all of these score lines and then I just want to show you um, this will be the inside of the box so I'm just going to draw on it uh, the score lines create kind of odd little flaps Okay, so normally everything kind of lines up at 90s, and in this case, we've kind of got like this weird little piece and this weird little piece. So what you need to do on all four corners is um, not only create flaps, so I'm going to cut all the way to that um, second score line, but I'm also going to cut off that odd corner and in this one I'll just go and cut off that little odd shape okay so we're left with just a flap okay we need to do that on all four sides but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna make my flap um, in the same direction so I'm gonna cut this one to the second line and then cut away that kind of strange piece okay so I end up with a flap there too and I'll do this in the same direction, cutting off just, just kind of the odd shape piece. And 
Oh shoot, I didn't do that one the same way. Well, it won't matter. Do you see? I was I was lining them all up the same direction, but it won't matter. You'll see. Um, cutting off that kind of strange shape that we usually don't have. All right, and on these flaps, um, just so the box constructs easily, I'm going to narrow these flaps down to make them like little trapezoids. Um, that way the the extra cardstock, since this is so thick, or I'm sorry, the extra designer paper won't get in the way of the fold. Okay, and the other thing that we need to do on all four quadrants, we're going to score at 5 eighths inch. Okay, so at 5 eighths, only doing one corner at a time and then rotating. Okay, and every one we're doing at 5 eighths, so it kind of ends when you get to that tab that you've cut and created. And um, we're going to fold those back. That creates that pinwheel, those pinwheel pieces on the top of the box. And then um, I'm going to use fast fuse on every tab here. Oops, and that way. And then put each of these corners together. I'm gonna slip the tab inside the box and make a really square corner. All right, so now it's just a matter of, you can put your little gift in there, and then I'm just going to fold down in a clockwise fashion, and then that last flap needs to tuck under the first one to create your pinwheel. Okay, and I've already made a little tag, so this is from jar of love the little for you and I'm just going to um, stick this on with a dimensional right here cute little little tag and then if you need to take this apart you can take that that one out first just so that it gets out of the way and then you know put it in last if you're reassembling all right so that's the pinwheel box so now we are going to also do um, this square bottom bag, which you can just load up with some candy. A gift card does fit straight down in there if you wanna do that. Um, but let me just do the construction of the base and you can decide how to decorate it and what to put in it. So I would set your, um, your markers on your scoring tool one and three eighth inch apart. So starting at one and three eighth, and then to two and three quarters, four and one eighth, and five and a half. Okay, so that's that's one and three eighths apart for each one. And since we have a directional paper, we are going to make the score for the bottom first. So I am going to turn my paper so that the bottom of the bag is over on the left, and I'm going to score at one and three eighths. Okay, and so that you can see that really well, I'm gonna fold that. And then along the top here, okay, so you see I've turned that so that that's along the top. This will be the bag bottom. And we're going to score at one and three eighths, but this time stop at that score line. Then the mark at two and three quarters, we're going to take full height on that piece of paper. The one at four and one eighths, we're only going to the score line. And then at five and a half, we're going the full length. All right, and that is all there is to it. I'm just going to... Um, Okay, 
cut away maybe you can see this better on this side um, and the on the bottom okay again this is the bag bottom we're cutting on each of these score lines so the one by the little half inch length we're we're cutting up to the horizontal score line and then I'm cutting that away kind of like a tab this will be the side of the bag that like connects and then each one of these other score lines we're just cutting to um, the horizontal score okay even though this one goes on you're gonna stop at that horizontal score this is just to make the bag bottom okay and then on the outside um, what I'm gonna do I'm using my fast fuse again down the length of that that tab that half inch tab piece and then on each of the first three box bottom flaps and on that third one it would help if you put a little more because that will secure the final flap okay so this you are just going to assemble press the side together like so and then you can kind of see this taking shape already um, leave the one that has no adhesive for last start start with the other end and just put those flaps together in order, ending with that one that has no adhesive. Okay, and then I'm going to get in there with my bone folder and make sure that's all connected. Okay, so that's, that's your little box um, square bottom bag. Now, on this one, I did like a two inch strip of Rich Razzleberry and a one inch strip of designer paper and just hand cut the little banner ends and did that same for you tag that we had um, and used a little bow of the velvet rich razzleberry velvet ribbon okay so there you have it two cute little favors that you can make out of six by six paper all right visit me at buckeyeinklings.com there's more ideas there um, Use your designer paper. I've got a designer paper um, share posted under the menu bar um, under product shares and also ribbon share. So if you're interested for the upcoming catalog, there are so many great papers and um, you can check them out there. Otherwise, um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.